Brothers and Smiller, how you doing? It's Brother Wisdom here. <clears throat> uh, pole shift is in full swing. I'm pretty sure many of you guys are already feeling the effects of it. Um, I want to talk about the pole shift and the the what goes on inside of the pole shift. All right, the pole shift is a shift of total consciousness of the the planet's consciousness of the consciousness of our people. We people of melanin, what you have to realize is that we are in nature. And because so many of us have made the decision to awaken from the sleep that we were put in, we being nature, we being the essence of the planet, we being the extra extensions of the cosmos, we have caused our planet to shift backwards um to the place where nature is supposed to be all right and that's why these caucasus are really they're trying really hard but you know once you're awakened you're awakened and you never fall back asleep once you realize that the lies that you've been told and the bullshit that you've been fed over the years is just what they are lies and bullshit um you no longer want to seek after um, those things, you know, you you dwindle away from the meat, you dwindle away from the football and the basketball, the baseball, you know, you dwindle away from um, from the the lame things. I mean, you may play video game every now and then, listen to some music, talk to some friends, but as much as far as you know, spending hours and hours a day, we you know with an illusion or whatever, you know, you you um actually turn away from that um you live re you leave religion alone you see a law as for what it is a game the law is nothing but a game the religion is nothing but a game that's all they are the gimmicks that are designed to make you fall into a state of fear which when you when somebody gets scared the first thing they want to do is go to sleep you know because when you scare you you know, just in fear, let me go to sleep. If I go to sleep, it'll just, it'll be better. You know, it'll be better if I just go to sleep. So, um, that's where they want us to be, um, in that state of fear. But because so many of us have made the decision, they have made a conscious decision to become conscious, to become, um, awakened and aware of everything that's around us. Well, because we are the planet, the planet is now shifting and like I said before it doesn't take a whole lot of us to do this uh, that energy that energy is crazy it doesn't take a lot of us to uh, do this um, hold on here for a minute here okay yeah, it doesn't take a lot of us to um, become conscious it's not a thing where um you need the whole, everybody who's of melanin to do such things it's the fact that you can have five hundred thousand four hundred thousand of us and i mean that's about the number right now it's about five hundred thousand of us right now uh worldwide half a million of us maybe a million who have totally awakened studying metaphysics know who we are we're not running after Allah and Buddha and Islam and and uh, and Christianity and you know Jesus and whatever else you know that's about 5,000 different religions and the crazy part about like 5,000 different religions is that um, each one of them their God is the God you feel me nature is everything nature is everything nature is balanced nature is uh real nature is alive you know that's why you know i, I post a question to these these caucasus you know since their law is the highest law in the land then why can't it defend itself why can't that law enforce itself because it's not real all right so the whole point of the, mag the, the magnetic shift is the polarity shifts of our bodies. 
because we are nature I mean, like I said in the, the last video we talked about that constant flow of energy so because we have become inconsistent inconsistent uh, um, um, levels of energy with that constant flow of energy we have caused the nature around us the cosmos around us to awaken um, a few years ago when we started doing the mass meditation we had literally um, caused a uh, the cosmos to shake we literally shook the cosmos when we first did our very first mass meditation the cosmos was like wait a minute is that my people that's that's my people doing a mass meditation wait a minute hold on we literally shook the cosmos when we first started our mass meditations and from that point on we have been doing mass meditations and making changes on the planet um so the the whole part of the the pole shift is the people of melanin and you can't put us back to sleep i'm sorry I'm sorry you can't put us back to sleep. We are here to stay. This is our planet. Um, we're taking our planet back. And you and the rest of your species won't be here to enjoy it. Um, this is why we must awaken more of our people. You know, um, I came across a brother who um, wanted to talk to me about the Bible, you know, and he's reading me off some scriptures, and then you know I say, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I know what that is, and da, da da da. So I started explaining things to him. He said, oh, so you already know, and I said, well, it's not that I already know us. It's, it's the it's the fact that this book is within us. You know, is is these are scrolls that were written by our people. You know, the st things that were stolen by the these Caucasoids, and they took it into Greece, and they fucked the scrolls up, and you know, put homosexuality in there, and bestiality, and and um, 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 incest, and cannibalism. They put all kind of crap in in, in those in their book, in the, in those scrolls, and they fucked everything up. Um, you know, they did a lot of things. You know, to make make the actual things that we wrote that uh, 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 to enhance our bodies because this book the bible is nothing but a book about our bodies it's about the melanin bodies from genesis to malachi genesis to the head malachi is the feet um but you know and i told him i said this book was written by 360 degree master masons not no 33 degree masons and it wasn't um um written by no unknown god you know, inspired by God, who is God, you know, so I had to explain it to him, and then, you know, the brother wanted to say I was taking things out of context, and I said, no, it's because I and the rest of my people have made a decision to awaken from this delusion, this is why our planet now is reshaping herself, and more of us are awakening by the thousands, by the hour, I'm talking about by the hour, and that knowledge now what's happening is because we have awakened and because we took the steps that we took to cause the shift in the cosmos some years ago you know some three years ago i think it was about three years ago this is 2018 so yeah it would have been about 2015 2000 yeah about 2015 when we first started our mass meditations yep um so about three years ago that's when we really shook the cosmos all right so within this three-year span the magnetism has been growing now you have to remember you know magnetism um like i did on the one session magnetism is the most powerful force of energy across the cosmos okay magnetism and then under magnetism is electricity and electricity is light under light is ether so you know um magnetism being the highest of the energy in the cosmos and what's happened because we have awakened we have literally caused the cosmos the magnetic effect of the cosmos to shift all right so the cosmos has to shift now into pure consciousness to what we are pure consciousness all right so uh because of our awareness and because of who we are now we're bringing things back into perspective the way they're supposed to be 
all right so our planet is now uh, uh reshaping herself like i said before it's reshaping herself and the planet's getting ready to flip all right because when these cocosaurs invaded our planet some 500 years ago caused us to fall that was a shift all right they don't want to talk about that great uh earthquake that happened they don't want to talk about that you know i've seen pictures of um of Antarctica where the waves you know were like some 30 40 50 feet high but they were frozen solid and now these waves are, are melting and these cocosaurs are scared new lands that went underground as a fail safe are getting ready to come back up all right they're going to come back up um uh from under from the bottom of the water these lands are coming back up so um now that we have shifted to consciousness so our consciousness is directly intertwined with the magnetism, all right? Because your consciousness pulls, all right? It magnifies the body, all right? So this is why we we must praise ourselves. We must magnify ourselves. I am, you know, somebody say, some people say God. Okay, if you're going to be God, be God, you know? You know, I am nature. I am the cosmos. You, we've we got to praise ourselves. we got to magnify ourselves. So, because our consciousness have caused a magnification of our bodies, the cosmos, because we've been the extra extensions of the cosmos here on the planet, the cosmos and the planet now is magnifying earthquakes, you know, uh, uh, happening to reshape the land. Uh, volcanoes, you know, happening to uh, let off all that uh, uh, extra energy that's been held, you know, storms going on everywhere. Everything is being reshaped. And that's why, you know, I talked about um, one of the videos about how we really need to um, control our thoughts and use our thoughts to destroy our enemies. You know, we use our thoughts to destroy their money and destroy their um, economy and destroy we can use our thoughts to destroy their armies it's all about the spirituality so because we have awakened to spirituality um, everything around us is awakened also and they're scared these corporations are scared they're scared shitless they don't know what to do because these people these these niggas, what they call this, these niggas, which they are really the niggas. They're they're uh what they what you call it um I call them cocosoid uh troglodyte niggas because you know, they're the niggas, really they are. They are the niggas. They are troglodytes, which are cave dwellers, and then they're uh, on their planet where they came from. They were in the caves, and when they came here, they took some time in the caves. All right. So it's all about um, our uh, transformation. It's about our transformation. It's about our ascension, moving into the next higher level of consciousness. So because we are becoming so conscious and we're aware of the consciousness, we're aware of our spirituality, we're aware of our metaphysics, we're aware of, uh, of, of our uh, inner powers, we're aware that we are weapons walking on the planet, we are aware of the enemy that we have will be the, the great illusionists, that's all they can do is create illusions, you know, we are aware of all these things, now we have brought forth awareness, now this awareness, now, um, so this is the the rapture. This is the rapture. This is uh, the rapture, which is our awareness, is an elevated um, state of mind. All right. The rapture has nothing to do with someone coming down and picking somebody up because it can't even be explained in a dictionary. If you look up the word rapture in a dictionary, it'll say uh, a religious belief. Ooh, I can feel that. It say religious relief, but then it will say in the dictionary a spiritually elevated state of mind, all right, which is the rapture. So, in the shift of consciousness, and as we the magnetism rises, all right, and that's what the pole shift is all about. The pole shift is all about magnetism, it's all about um, the magnetic force of the cosmos, the universe, our galaxy, our planet shifting and our planet going back to its original form where the 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 planet the the lands are actually supposed to be facing up 
and not facing down. When they shift, all right, when the lands are facing up on a globe-like planet, it's going to resemble um, fire, which is what it's supposed to be. Um, the shift is, like I said, is consciousness, but the consciousness is nothing but magnetism. And a lot of us have been feeling that magnetic energy all around us, you know. Like earlier today, I f it felt like um, a surge of energy just hit my hand it would, and it wouldn't let go. And I was just like, you know, just playing with it or whatever and it wouldn't let go. And it was almost, it was like a taser. It was like I got tased. That's how strong the, the, the energy was. But um, I could feel the energy going into me, you know. Um, the my frequencies have been you know lately just been getting really really thick real thick um this is all about the the pole shift the magnetism this is inside the pole shift this is why i'm talking about inside the pole shift what happens what the 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 essence of the pole shift what goes on what creates the pole shift and it's us people of melanin we who have made a conscious decision to awaken and we can awaken more all right and the more of our people that we awaken um, from these illusions the more uh, of our people who will um the more the planet will shift all right that's what it's all about it's, it's about a shift in the, um, the the planetary um, in, in in the planetary consciousness, our planet is shifting into a new consciousness. You know that's why it's getting hotter. That's why they're trying to keep it cold. You know they're trying to they're trying to hold back the shift, but they can't hold it back. It's impossible to hold this back. You know they're they're trying to stop this shift. They're 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 doing everything that they can do. But we are the basis of the shift, my people. We are the basis of the shift. Melanin makes the world go round. Money don't make the world go round. Money's an illusion. How can something that is not real make the world spin? It doesn't. Melanin makes the world go round. And we are melanin. And it's because of our consciousness, because of our spirituality, because we have made the decision to awaken that what's, this is what's causing, this is what has caused the... Uh, pole shift to happen so we are in the pole shift is in full effect right now and the more of us we're joining in we're joining in we're joining in we're joining in you know we're jumping on on this not jumping on the bandwagon is is jumping on the uh, on on the on the, uh, the the hype of reality because what is real in us well destroys the fake in them so when we see the reality of nature and the nature around us, then that's when everything um, within the, 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 this realm that we in, this dimension that we in, begins to grow. So if all of us, every person of melanin on the planet, were to all of a sudden become conscious overnight, if all of us, our planet would literally shift in seconds. All right, our planet will literally shift in seconds, and our planet will shift all the way to the 20, 30, 40th dimension. All right, so um, it's the, the 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 pole shift is all about the magnetism through consciousness. Consciousness is 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 the most powerful uh, um, energy known around us, which is nature. The trees are conscious, the grass is conscious, the, the, the birds and the bees are conscious. These are, you know, the animals are conscious. You know, they're part of nature, they're conscious. And, but we, we're the most powerful. We who are the, the extra extensions of the cosmos, we who were created in the eyes of nature, are the ones who make the difference. And because we have made that conscious decision to shift back into the original spirituality where we come from, this is the reason why the pole shift is taking place. The pole shift is all about magnetism. All right, the magnetic energy and the pole shift um, causes the lava to flow from the volcanoes, 
the magnetic energy in the pole shift causes the the the, the plates to shift the tectonic plates to shift you know there have been earthquakes before but not like it has been now see we are nature we are the planet and I say it again this is the inside of the pole shift we are the ones who have caused the pole shift we're the ones and those who wrote these wrote this message on the wall about the earthquakes and, and wars and animals dying and all that they already knew that these things were going to happen because they knew that these Caucasus wouldn't be able to keep us asleep they knew that they knew that there was going to be a point of time where the awakening was going to be greater than the slumber so this is the inside of the pole shift and um, what I wanted to say is that many of you guys have probably been feeling um, a tinge of magnetic energy feel like electricity all in you You've probably been feeling different pains all over your body different aches um, you've probably been having um, swollen muscles, you know, and this is all a part of the pole shift. This is all a part of the pole shift. And a lot of us have to understand, you know, it's just this is not medical. This is just metaphysical. And it has to happen. It has to happen. I mean, it, there's no other way to say it. It has to happen. And it's happening right now before us. Right before our eyes. And it's like I said, it's, it's, it goes even deeper, but this is what I want to talk about right now is the, the fact that we have awakened to who we are. And because we have shifted our consciousness, the planet is now shifting. Everything is coming back into the, uh, the balance of nature. Everything is coming back into the balance of nature. That's why we must, in our meditation, focus on things like the Niberian energy, the energy of Nibiru, um, the, the energy of the sun, focus on nature, you know, our thoughts, the destruction of this system on our planet. If we all just thought this, made, put, put five, five minutes of energy towards the destruction of this planet on our, the destruction of the system on our planet, we will see a definite change. We gotta stop complaining about things and start doing things about it. All right, we're spiritual beings. We're highly, highly advanced beings. We don't have to get out there and actually physically fight. I mean, there may be a time when we have to get down and dirty, but you know, at this point in time, you know, because we're so advanced, it's all about us using your hands tapping into the internet and making change on our planet electromagnetic beings organic machines we are the reason of the, of the pole shift and we need more of us to join in to realize there is no Allah there is no Jesus there's no one coming to save us but ourselves it's our consciousness that's saving us alright and these caucuses also want us to remain in fear, but let them do their fear mongering because their fear mongering is their demise, literally. All right. Uh, hope you got something from this, brothers and sisters. Um, I'll catch you on the next go round. All power to the multi chakra people of Melanin. Peace.